Hey guys, Sam here and welcome back to my JavaScript tutorials for beginners and in this video I'm gonna teach you all how you can create a calculated program in Java. So let's get started. This is the second video of my calculated tutorials and in this video I'll be create I'll be teaching you actually how to create a complete calculated program in Java. And in the past tutorials we actually created two buttons two buttons with an add and an equals to button okay so now we're gonna be creating all the else all the other buttons like q three four five and all and the button add and the button equals and we're gonna be adding for three more buttons of course the button sub mul and divide okay so now if you've actually created the complete calculator on your own then you might be getting a problem like this one and result equals to the string the string okay i won't be explaining you because you've already got that problem and i'll just be explaining you the solution okay uh, this problem isn't very tough one but uh it just requires a bit con uh, a bit concentration okay so let's get started firstly what you actually need to do is go ahead and create a static uh, character type variable and it's gonna be OPP. Let's name it to OPP and in the add action listener and the action listener of this add button you just need to add in OPP equals to a there a okay so here we're gonna type in in the final thing uh oh let's play here if the string or the star equals to a ah uh, man do the star okay of course that's gonna happen and let's make it instance variable result of And it's gonna be somewhere here. Wait, it's gonna be if static and result. Okay, so here it's gonna be uh what what we uh what we're actually doing is we're creating an integer variable operator which is just kind of flag which tells us on the button click of the add button that when I click the add button to do this task and then in the equals to button it firstly checks if operator equals to a like uh, in this one button add it, if it equals to a if it is true then set the value of result to oral1 and oral2 plus oral2 okay then when you're adding a function to subtraction you're just gonna be copying this thing if operator equals to sub and some more stuff okay so now let's go ahead and create all the buttons which we actually need to create for our calculator program okay so if you haven't made that all that stuff which is actually pretty easy then uh, you should have done that right it's literally very easy okay so if you have actually not done or if you're getting a problem with the code then you can just go ahead and watch this tutorial okay so here we're gonna be creating the buttons it's gonna be the button 3 and 4 of course Okay, so now we're gonna be copying all this stuff and we're gonna paste it here. Okay, it's the button one, two, three, four. It's the button five then. Oh, what's happening? 
button five, button six, button seven, button eight, and now we need to create that final button, the ninth button. Oh, we actually need to create two buttons, the zero button as well actually. Okay, I forgot that. And button nine and button zero. Okay. So it's gonna be button five done with that. Button six dot get text. Seven eight here. Nine here of course and zero finally here. Okay, now we're gonna be creating all those variables. Alright, these buttons, it's gonna be the button 5, 6, 7, 8, nine, button 9, and button 0, of course. So it's gonna be 5, 6, 7, 8. 9 and 0. Okay. Now it's actually. Uh, uh, we've actually created all the buttons. We have added actual listeners to them. But we still haven't done one thing. And that's adding the buttons to the panel. Okay. Okay, it's button. Four here, button five here, uh, six there, and seven here. Okay. So now let's just copy. Uh, we need to copy the eight, nine, and ten button. Okay, we need to copy three buttons. I'm not very good at math. But still, I like maths. Okay, now we've made all these variables. Now we need to do the final thing, which is uh, creating the plus and the minus buttons and adding them to the panel as well. And it's going to be the button stop or button stop. Into or minus, and it's gonna be into here, and then final thing J button button div equals to new J button, and it's gonna be uh, all. The hell? Okay, I tried it earlier, it worked, now it's not working. Okay, I don't know why it wasn't, why isn't it working? And it's gonna be this key, okay. It's the option plus the, uh, this key, which is just behind, which is just next to your, uh, right shift key. Okay. So you can just even type in divide there, but I just discovered this thing, and I just like that thing after this thing, after this after that happened. All right, you. Know, it's gonna be button sub and mouth, and here it's gonna be panel dot. Add button divide. Okay, so now we've done this. Now we need to finally do uh, add the actual listeners of the sub and the multiply thing. And it isn't going to be something like 
very tough, but uh, what we're actually doing is we're creating the actual assist for the sub button, the add button, and all that. And then we're going to be adding it to our equals to button. Okay. It's going to be button mark. And here it's going to be M. And finally here, and it's going to be button divide. Okay, and here it's gonna be the operator, of course, is gonna be D. Okay, so you finally need to type in if OPP double equals to S, then result equals to RL1 minus RLG. Okay, so let's just try copying this thing, and it's gonna be RLM, and it's gonna be RLG. Okay, so here it's gonna be the star, of course, for the division or for the multiplication, and here. The divide sign of curve. Okay, now let's just try running our program. I don't know, but I'm feeling that there's a error gonna come. I actually don't wish, but if it comes, then no problem. Because they're pro, they're pro coders. Okay. So here's everything set up, and when I type in one, it gets one, four, five, six, okay, and it's gonna be the plus five, and equals to this thing, and it's gonna be the six, six minus five equals to oh, uh, it's working, I guess. Actually, saw something wrong. Okay, it's gonna be 45 minus 40 equals to 5. Okay, it's working correctly. I actually observed a problem right there, but no problem. We'll just fix it in the upcoming video. Okay, so now what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be adding a clear all button to our calculator program. And in the next video of this calculator series, we're going to be adding the, uh, the backspace button. Okay, so let's go ahead and add that button. Okay, it's going to be the button. Button clear equals to new J button. And it's going to be C. Okay, so here we're gonna be typing in panel dot add and it's gonna be button clear. Okay, so finally we're gonna be adding the actual listener to this thing. This button actually, button clear dot action listener E and it's gonna be str builder dot set length and it's it's gonna be zero okay and then we're gonna be typing in lb dot set text zero oh or it's gonna be lb dot set text str builder dot display okay now it's gonna run I guess Working. When I just type in full and select C, it just becomes no 99 E full minus C equals to and it's of course it's gonna uh, give us an exception number format exception. Okay, so in this the 
we're gonna be adding the uh, the exceptions and we're gonna be creating a J option pen on the click of that button right if any exception comes we're gonna be adding a J uh, a J option ball option pen which is just similar to like uh, when I close uh, something like the U torrent or something it comes uh, they are sure that you want to close right and that's actually the J option pen okay and that's the thing I'm gonna talk uh, well, we're actually talking about we're gonna be adding them to the upcoming videos in the upcoming videos and till then thank you for watching and guys please like share and subscribe to my channel and in the future tutorials I'll be uploading more videos on programming in Java in and in more languages and till then stay tuned and watch all my videos okay thank you for watching